You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi, friends. John Willard here, the gentleman poet. The story is, I shall not live in vain. And remember the subscribe button below for CNA TV, cause CNAs matter. Stories from the heart is what works best for me, family, friends, and compassion for all the world to see. A flower is what I desired for this beautiful day, but since it came from the heart, I got a whole bouquet. I prefer the kinder, gentler side. So in these Ozarks is where my heart and soul reside. Oh, friends, the heart is tied to all human relations and activity. Uh, the experience of doing and being something we did not formerly feel capable of as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. I always said, you don't know how much a horse can pull until you hook him to a heavy load. Who will play your music if you don't do it yourself? This is your gift. Don't waste it. When we reach this moment of turning in our life, we are often asked to go beyond our skills, to do the opposite of what has gone before. If we have been unfocused, this is the time for focus. If we have been driven to succeed, this is the time for space. And our art may not be music. It may be a quality of caring that we offer like CNAs do, or a capacity to listen deeply to the concerns of others or simply the wonder and beauty we awaken in the world through a flower or a tree, creating our lives so that they are a reflection of what we love is child's play for the heart. Oh, I enjoy the stories. Take the back roads of America and give people reverence. See them the way they want to be seen. Living our lives is much like making a movie. We express ourselves to others and dialogue with our thoughts to create the world around us. The famous and not so famous. In the end, I am seeing that we are all the same. We share in each other's lives and contribute to the greater movie of life. The quality of our life on our planet is dependent on the quality of our thoughts about life. Any path is only a path. And there is no affront to oneself or to others in dropping it, if that is what your heart tells you. Then ask yourself, does this path have a heart? If it does, the path is good. If it doesn't, it is of no use. You're not born knowing what your core needs are. I found mine. 
and everyone can do the same by asking some key questions about what type of experiences brought fulfillment in the past. What has made life worth living? Self-esteem is the reputation we acquire with ourselves. Integrity is having the courage and self-discipline to live by your inner truth. And what is work with love? It is to weave the cloth with threads drawn from your heart, even as if your beloved were to wear that cloth. It is to sow seeds with the tenderness and to reap the harvest with joy, even as if your beloved were to eat the fruit. Work is love made visible, like my mother made. This is my story I call A Leaky Roof. I heard of an elderly lady, wheelchair bound, diabetic, on dialysis. She lived in an old trailer. The roof leaked so bad that she had to move her wheelchair to avoid the rain. This is a time in my life when I'd lost everything in the 2008 downturn when the government bailed out the banks. But they didn't bail you or I out. But compared to this elderly lady, I felt rich. My wife and I scraped together some money, put it in an envelope and gave it to her. I laid awake that night thinking about the difficult life that lady must have had, about all the hardships she must have endured. She died a short time later. Materially, I didn't give this lady very much. But internally, I can't help but think I gave her a little bit of comfort the short time she had left. If I can ease one life the aching, or cool one pain, I shall not live in vain. Many things will catch your eye, but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those, friends, I'm out of time. Catch me next week for another rhyme. Pups are hungry and want some chow. So the gentleman poet has to leave you now. <laughs> you can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47 Until next week, this is John Willard from the farm.